I've got uh, two contacts zoom cameras here. Um, you'll see uh, there's a link below to um, the review that I recently published of the TVS2, this one. And there is also um, going to be a link to a, a sort of a post TVS2 breakdown of some of the things that I don't like specifically about the TVS3. So this, um, I suppose, frustration in the TVS3, um, you would think that a, a, a later model of a camera, um, you know, it's not necessarily doesn't necessarily mean that a later model a late, a later model means better, but you would think that you would take the good things about the previous model and build on them with the latter model. Well, the TVS2 is, as I say in my review, a very nice camera for a, one of the for a few reasons, but one of the main reasons is that to power it on, you you turn the lens. So that you turn the lens. That takes you to 28 mil, and then you keep going at 56 mil, 28 mil, everything between to 50, 56 mil. As you can hear, if I put this near my microphone, that make very much noise, very little. And it's also very quick. So, you know, you can just quickly turn it on, you know, with a camera to your eye, turn it on and, and zoom and you're away. Um, without making any noise. The TVS3, on the other hand, whilst it has a very nice fancy door on the front, if you want to switch it on, you have to press this little tiny silver button on the top and then rotate the dial, which actions this. motorized flappy door. It's very satisfying. The movement of the door is enormously satisfying. It's very smooth. You feel the smoothness of it in your hand. It's really nice. But it's a bit bloody stupid. It's a bit over the top. It's a bit unnecessary, frankly, compared to the TVS. The TVS and the TVS1 both had this really nice. I think the TVS1 did. Anyway, the TVS2 does. So that's one thing about the TVS three over the two that has let me down. The second thing, once you've turned it on, the viewfinder is really, it's really difficult to line your eye up to without it blacking out. The TVS two is quite bad in that sense too, but the TVS three is worse. And not only that, the content of the viewfinder, the, con the readout of the viewfinder inside, the information in the TVS2 is useful. Uh, it tells you the exact shutter speed you're at. The TVS3 doesn't. It tells you that you're either at 15th, 60th, 250th, or 1000th, or between the two by showing both lights. If you go less than a 15th, it just says LT, which is less useful than knowing the actual shutter speed, especially at longer shutter speeds. So, I just can't fathom it. I can't fathom why make a really nice, useful uh, camera like this, and then afterwards make it a slightly silly camera like this. Even things like the aperture, if you want to change the aperture on this, want to change the aperture on this one, you change it with the dial around the lens. So, there you go, around the lens like that. If you want to change the aperture on this one, it's got two, I don't know if you can even see them, two tiny little buttons here. And you press them and it gives you a readout 
of the, of the aperture on this little piddly little screen. I need to sort out the lights for these videos, don't I? Piddly little screen just here. It's, it's just, it's just useless, it's pointless, completely pointless. Uh, and the zoom buttons, little tiny, two little tiny buttons on top, not the conventional rocker on the back of the camera, two little tiny buttons on the top. The exposure compensation, plus and minus five EV on this one, plus and minus two on this one. I don't know, I don't get it. <clears throat> I'm sure some people prefer the later camera, but to me, the TVS2 is a significantly bit better bit of kit. So yeah, uh, feel free to tell me otherwise, <laughs> if you think otherwise. Uh, always interested in hearing people's opinions. Uh, I'm sure lots of people will tell me the T2 is better still. Yeah. Whatever. Um, that's that for this week. <laughs> Uh, hope you enjoy reading those both those reviews if you uh, do decide to dip into them otherwise I will uh, I'll catch up with you again soon cheers for now enough of that.